Welcome back. Let's take a look at our puzzle from last time, or our quiz question that came from one of our last two game sessions. We previously played three rated games and then four friendly games. And somewhere in that series of seven games probably lies this particular position. And I played one of these two moves, either uh, Pawn Drop on 2-4, or I played Pawn Takes Pawn. Um, oh right, yeah, after the game I reviewed this with an engine and the engine pointed out this silver is not defended. Because the silver is floating here, this Pawn Drop is excellent. What this Pawn Drop here achieves is that after Pawn Takes Pawn, Rook Takes threatens both the Knight and the Silver. If they don't take this Pawn, then Pawn takes Pawn here and promotes and then takes the gold next. So this is a big, big threat. Um, and had I only found this, this game might have gone a little bit smoother. Maybe. Maybe not. But yeah, definitely this Pawn Drop was the move to play. We just need to be more conscientious or conscious of such things in the future. That said, it's time to play some games, eh? Let's resume playing 10 minute games and let's switch the overlay and this should be fun, right? I'm going to continue playing Static Rook and we'll see where we get. Good luck. Alright, so let's first open this bishop diagonal. This 90% of games played by professional players start with this pawn move. And it's because this bishop now controls so many different squares. Um, so already our opponent is playing defensively. Um, man, I'm going to place this strategy anyway, even though, arguably, um, given the way my opponent played, I should consider something different. So I prevent this pawn from further advancement, and we're going to find a different route for my bishop to activate itself. While I also claim the 5-5 square to prevent a bishop drop there. Um, let's activate the bishop this other way. And I think from last time we tried this pawn advance and it did not work well at all. Actually, this was hanging a turn ago, so I definitely should have pushed this, and I failed to do that. That's not great. Super not great, but um, we'll live and learn from it, hopefully. Uh, so let's get our king tucked safely away, if possible. Uh, first, get the king off of this diagonal. Oh my gosh. Wow, um, this is sharp. We're both playing with fire here. Now my king is not safely castled. So, boy, I want to attack. This is a terrible timing for me to attack, but they haven't castled either. Let's get the king one square further over, even though this is walking directly into this diagonal here. Or if our opponent gets a pawn, this position becomes difficult. Um, but that's the key, is if they get it. I pushed this... Um, I don't know. This is dangerous. Um, I think this is... So this is just the normal, or the simple Yagata shape, the simple fortress. Um, you get a stronger shape if you have this pawn advanced and this other gold up here, but I don't have all of that. So I have the simple fortress shape. Uh, my king is directly under the fire of this bishop, so I'm going to exchange here. This could be an immense blunder, but I need to activate my pieces somehow. So this is check. 
Once the opponent blocks this check, I can retreat the bishop, attacking this bishop with my rook, also attacking this pawn here with the threat to take the knight next. Um, all right, they have not blocked my checks, so instead I'm going to activate this back this way, threatening a pawn drop to try to win the bishop, but also threatening multiple threats here. So now I'm attacking both this knight and this pawn. Yes, they can defend both threats in the short term. Um, and the question is, can I come up with something longer term for us to both think about? Like, I wanted to push this pawn. It still looks interesting to push it. Um... Okay, so we're going to break this pin. Still have two pawns in hand, and not a great idea how to use them. Um, if their grand idea or scheme is to trap my bishop, maybe I'm not opposed to it. If that's their plan. Um... All right, you got my curiosity. Is there something so flawed with this resumption of my attack? So this loses a move, but now I can take here. I mean, yeah, I'm playing with fire, but I don't know. It's interesting, right? Um, so they're desperately trying to trap my bishop by surrounding it. Um, okay, we'll give my bishop an escape square. I mean, yeah, I'm playing greedily, but I don't see a problem with it. All right, this makes their shape a little softer. Um, my gold's doing nothing here, so we'll try to use it. One more move and I can build up a really strong center. So they're not going to give me one more move. They're going to do something aggressive here. But I don't know what they can do aggressively without jeopardizing their own uh, position. Okay, so if I advance, they trap my rooks. So I have to go sideways instead. Okay, this silver's not hanging because the bishop supports it, but otherwise we'd consider this pawn drop and fork idea that we were just reviewing in a different game. But this silver's not floating. It's actually defended. If, on the other hand, this knight were to move out, uh, then we'd have a different situation on our hands. But I don't have time for this pawn drop right now. Maybe next turn. Um... So back we go, threatening this next, and then we can take the silver if it's still hanging. Um, interesting. Go food. All right, there's a lot of things going on here. But I imagine, first and foremost, this is the thing to be concerned about. So I can threaten to win the bishop again, 
but this time I'm going to take this silver. Yes, they can take a pawn. And I think I run away if they do that, but taking back doesn't look terrible either. Actually, taking this pawn in response to them taking my pawn looks really strong. They might move the silver up to complete the surrounding of my bishop, but they don't. Instead, we get this. Now I'm attacking the bishop and a silver. Um, potentially they advance a knight, but then I take a pawn and I'm hitting the knight. Okay. Um... So this is part two of my plan here, I think. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, this looks too fun. I'm going to take here. So this gives me one silver. Now you might think, what can I do with one silver general, right? It's just one. Um, I could drop it there. And then it becomes a gold general. Um, and also the support of this knight is removed. Um, and then I can hit the bishop again. And breaking up this castle, I think, is the real objective here. I mean, I could drop another pawn and try to get greedy. Maybe, you know, greed's not terrible here. My rook is surrounded again. Okay, so they pick this direction instead. Um, it's a bit surprising. Um, They want their rook to be active. Hmm. It's not easy. If I take the bishop and then drop a gold here. Now this gold is too strong. Oh, I could have taken the pawn here too. Didn't even consider that. I thought too much about that counter person um Nifun. This looks interesting. So I want to attack their king as directly as possible here. To do that, I might need to sacrifice a lot of things. Um,
We're going to sacrifice my last pawn here. And try to get close to the king. Hey, welcome. Anytime we're learning, we're winning, right? See. It's a tricky position. Maybe this? I'm not totally sure. Oh, I had a better move. Ippun. Uh, what do I do now? I guess we'll take here and assume that tactics aren't terrible. Um, This isn't right, but what is right? No, this lets them out. I got careless. It's not easy. Well... Yeah. So yeah, they're running. I'm chasing. I've got a lot of pieces to chase with. That wasn't wise on their part. This gold drop might have been smart. Maybe. I don't know. This is not right. This is so wrong. Well, it's a good effort. Jeez, what a mess.
Thanks for the game. Gotta work on those sume, you know? Gotta know how to checkmate. Also, if you're defending, gotta play good defensive moves. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. Good luck. Never seen that before. Or at least I don't recognize it. Uh, let's push this. That's ambitious. Um, so this point. Okay, yeah, they can defend that with a pawn. Sure. It's a possibility. Um, We're going into some very, very weird side pawn picker territory, or side pawn capture territory here. So, I've taken a pawn. Yay me. Um, should I have taken it? I don't know. Um, we need to activate my bishop somehow. So, I go retreat here, and then my bishop finds its way this way through. Um, they're even going to line it up for me. Okay. That's interesting. What the hell? Um, okay, you've got my curiosity. What's going on in this position? I'm threatening to take your bishop. I'm threatening to promote here, which splits your castle in half. Also, just threatening to put my rook on a decent file. Um... Rook's on a decent file. Mission accomplished. Um, if I drop a pawn, if gold takes, I take here. Pawn takes, I drop this. They do something about the rook, I take here. Okay, this looks too fun. I'm sorry, I can't. We're just going to go for it. King safety only matters so much in this game, right? Let's get another proverb. What's the next proverb going to be? Nanafun. All right, silver takes this played. Let's see, there's other problems here, too. Um... They think I wouldn't do this? Uh, 
I'm not even sure what I'm doing, but it just feels fun. At least until I get mated. Um, but, okay, we're going to activate my bishop again. <laughs> ah, habaneros are really hot and pizza makes you fat. These are good proverbs. Maybe not worthy enough to go into the bot as one of our repeatable things, but still fun things to keep in mind. So I'm attacking this pawn. The king is going to defend this pawn. His royal highness is defending a pawn. Okay, then. You know, I don't believe that. Is that pawn really defended? I mean, okay, all of my pieces are hanging here, but let's ignore that for the moment and just let's pretend I had a point. Okay, so they're going to take my knight, but I get this lance first. Um, unless I go back and hit their rook and mess all of this up. That could be fun, right? Okay, so they could get a knight. They could get three pieces for a rook, but I get a promoted horse. But also I could trap their rook here. And also, we're not going there, because that's just plain insane. Rather, um, we're going somewhere else that's fairly crazy. So let's buckle up. If they take this, I just pin the rook. Maybe this is wrong-minded for me to pin it, but, like, I can bring another attacker immediately on this. So, this looks right. I don't even need to take the rook. It has no freedom. Alright, now I need to take it. But, it's a good deal, right? This is wild. This is madness, yo. Okay, so if I drop a rook... Uh, okay, if the king retreats, it's not mated. Tactics occur everywhere here. If I drop a rook here, and the silver's hanging, but also... Well, that's the thing. same thing I just discussed. I was thinking, do I take the lance and then drop the rook? Like, Go do I really, me. really need a lance for some reason? I don't think I do. Um... Lances are cool, but no, I could drop back here. Oh, that's the play. Wait, then the king defends this, but then I take a knight and I'm threatening a fork. Yeah. When I exchanged the bishop for the rook, this is what I was all excited about was this drop here. Like, all of their pieces are floating. Well, except the rook here is actually defended, but um, it's not doing much. It's still blocked. All right, so this defends the king. I could take this knight, threatening to take this next. I could take the gold, which doesn't... Oh, taking the gold threatens mate in one. It's not bad. All right, since this promotes, it covers the square, which means gold drop 4-4 four four is a mate threat. Um, otherwise, taking the knight, threatening to drop a knight and work the king in the gold is not a terrible idea, but this threatens mate in one. Alright, they stop the mate in one. How did they see my threat? Maybe I shouldn't have told them about it. Um, if I take here... King takes, I drop again. Where's the king go next? Um, I 
I mean, this looks interesting. I don't know why. Um, but this is a reasonably good diagonal for my bishop to sit on. Okay, I don't have a mate in one threat unless they retreat. But if they keep moving their king forward, that can't be sustainable, right? So the rook is responsible for defending this gold general. They could take here and promote, but then, like, this has to be made. We've got three minutes to find a mate. Three minutes upon a knight, two gold generals, and a dragon, and a bishop. If they do that, I think we can work it out. Yeah, so we're not going there. Instead, um, okay. Hmm. I'm thinking. It's actually not easy to checkmate a king. Okay, so we're going to move the silver away from the king. Again, like, surely there's a mate if they take it. Or if they take, um, you know, uh, if they take this pawn with the dragon. So this stops their rook from advancing any further. Next, I'll have to find some way to approach this king even better. But we're making progress. Um, it's interesting. Okay. Maybe this gold drop was too heavy, but I win a silver, and I can continue attacking the king's head. So, I don't see how this is bad. It's slow, but I don't know that that means it's bad. So if the king goes to the edge, I can take with this with check. Otherwise, it's not check. But I'm threatening a fork here, but I don't even need the fork. Um, so all their pieces block all of their other pieces. I have time to take that. Oh, plus I'm threatening to take this um, with mate there. So they might move the gold up to try to escape. They do. Um,
Is this mate? This looks a lot like checkmate. This looks a lot like checkmate. If they block, I drop a gold to mate. If the king runs, I drop gold mate or check anyway. King runs and then I drop the lance with mate. If they interpose, gold drop mates in either case. That looks like mate. Thanks for the game. Two games down, one game to go. Let's get another proverb. Good luck. Our opponent has won five games in a row. I'm a bit nervous or apprehensive or whatever. Don't be afraid to sacrifice major pieces. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this anyway. They are considerably faster than I am here. Maybe this is reasonable. I take the 5-5 five, five points. I'm freestyling yo. Maybe it's okay. I defend. Well, I had intended to take this. Um, this is turning out different than I imagined. Okay. Uh, I guess that's fine. Ah, right. Okay. I've not seen either side of this position before. Hopefully that's not going to be the end of me. Um... They have a pawn to drop. Um, I need to activate my rook. King safety be damned. Let's see where we end up. Actually, if I drop a pawn here... Uh, no. No, nope, we're activating the rook. If they drop their only pawn, we can move the rook here. They have two pawns. That seems like an important detail to notice. 
Um, somehow I didn't see the two next to their pawn. This could be really bad news. Nanafun. Hmm. Only I'd seen the two. Well, what do we do now? We're gonna force them to drop it anyway. I looked and I did. I tried to see the two if it were there. I looked at least once, maybe twice, and I didn't see it. Alright, so... Hmm. Well, our proverbs don't be afraid to sacrifice major pieces. Maybe there needs to be an accompanying proverb. Uh, don't sacrifice all of your major pieces. I don't know. I'm not in check. So I can take this. Okay, um, our game situation is changing rapidly. Um, the heck? What does this mean? Go from. What can I possibly do here? So they can take my gold with check, they could take my bishop, they could take my pawn. Uh, instead we have this. Um, uh, for this, they probably take it. Oh, but then I have a gold drop. Now they do this check first. Alright, there's not a fork that picks off my rook, so we're going to take this. Um, this is a weird, weird position. That was anxious of me. I mean, okay, wow. Uh, the king can escape here, sure. No, it can't, actually. This is mate and one. Thanks for the game. Oh boy. Well, that was exciting. Uh, those were three very... At least the last two were super exciting. I don't remember how the first one went. Oh, that was that was something. Um, oh, they're so close to promoting to one down. I'm sure they'll make it soon. Um, yeah, somehow 
some aspects of these pages aren't loading, but let me at least show my card if I can. So we are 20% of the way up to Wondon. Uh, give it some more games. We'll eventually get there. You just have to be really, really patient. But hopefully we're learning something with each game. Hope we enjoyed these. Thanks for watching.